play boss, bitch. A little motherfucking pilot, man, you feel me? And I'm, I'm about to kick this one shit real quick. Yo, flight boss, bitch. And hey, yo, check this out. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna, um, you know what I'm saying? This is the mind of an Aunt Terry's moon. And we finna get into some, um, we finna get into some, um, some real deep thoughts on how shit really is. Because it's a lot of, it's a lot of Palladians here on earth. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, um, eh, and and Andromeda's here. It's a lot of listen. I I need you to even know one uh one thing too. There's a big ass war going on in the house. In the it's a big ass war going on in the second and third house. The second and third house is in the sky. There's a big war, big Star Wars going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you know anything about astrology program. You know the third. You know the second house is the Taurus house, and the third house is the um, the Gemini house. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, it's a it's a big war going on for them star constellations. You have other star constellations from from other galaxies, star systems that manifested out of them. You have star systems manifesting out of the Taurus star constellation and and the Gemini star constellation. It's like a big war going on. So a lot of a lot of celebrities right now. Maybe Tauruses and Gemini's. These might be the most successful. And, and, and if you really wanna, if you really wanna get into it, you know what I'm saying. You can kind of go back, kind of look at the biggest rappers of all time. Like kind of try to try to look at the biggest rappers. And even if they wasn't the greatest, they had the most in influence, the most impact. Most of those people was um uh um. Their descendants straight from the Taurus and Gemini star constellations, and they they are they are Pacific stars that manifested out of stars that manifested from them star constellations. And when stars get manifested out of star constellations, those are star systems. And you have a lot of star systems like the Palladians was manifested out of the Taurus star constellation and evolved into. Um, a star system, and the star system is within just within the eye of the whole star constellation. People people get naive of how big these constellations really are, but constellations are huge. That's really the. Before we even get into that, right now, you know what I'm saying. Right now, this video right here is um, the mind of an Antares moon, and I'm gonna give you the thoughts of Antares. And what I'm gonna do is give you the thoughts on religion. Now, religion. I'm gonna make this real short, you know what I'm saying? Like, because people don't understand that religion is a real legion. And wherever there's a legion, there is a group of people that all agree upon something. You know what I'm saying? And anytime there's a group of people that agree upon something, there's an agenda behind it. And wherever there's an agenda, there's propaganda behind it. And wherever there's propaganda, it leaves some sort of separation within there. So there's separatism right there, and um, this is the basic ground groundwork of uh, religion. Now, I either I will go as far as to casting all and every preacher into the bottomless pits of hell, and you know not every preacher uh, does this because, I mean, a preacher preaches out of the graces of his heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he don't think he's doing any wrong out of the deepness of his heart, then he's not, and he will be on a path. Whether he believe it or not, he's going to be on a path where it's times that, that is going to have to, is going to shift him into going into the right way. Now, everybody is on the right path to a certain extent. It's just up to the person. It's up to the individual. It's up. It's on the individual how much shit they refuse to acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody has the right message in their locked in their brain, the right DNA keys locked in their brain to get on the right path. Everybody does. It's just depending on the individual and it's on the individual whether that person choose to neglect it or neglect it. You know what I'm saying? And it's all, it's all how you look at it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the religion, I'm going to go as far as telling like the preachers, they're telling people, they're even like the what you don't understand is the preacher is using the metaphysics of the Bible and into letting you believe that you're blessed by him, which you're be blessed. And they will lead you into believe 
that you're worshiping something greater, but really you're just worshiping that preacher and, and worshiping the words he put out. And words are very real. And words turn physical. You know what I'm saying? Like, like God said, even in the Christian Bible, uh, the world, well, earth and everything was created with the word. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Preachers is doing this, and the ones that don't know what they're doing wrong, they're doing this also without knowing that they're doing this. And um, and actually, they're, they're making people pray not knowing that you're making people be sacrificial lambs and you're turning people into prey and you're becoming a predator because you're receiving so it's like you combining you're, you're combining you're combining the the uh the extrovert and the introvert the positive and the negative charge and you're giving and receiving but you're receiving at a cost of other people's giving and what they're giving you is their energy and you don't even quite know where the energy coming from. So I cast all I cast all preachers into the bottom of this pits of hell. If you don't know what you're doing, maybe this video will enlighten you. And um, I need you to enlighten some of your um some of your people that's that's coming to you, looking for you, looking to you for guidance. Because um when you pray, listen, I want I want y'all to know this is this is how a God look at prayer. This is how now look, this is an Terry thought right here. Now look, I'm giving y'all gems. I'm giving y'all gems. Now listen up, because every church and every upbringing, you, this shit goes deep. Generations, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000 years. This shit goes on. People are praying wrong. You're not even supposed to be praying. Second of all, if you want to look at it, I'm, I'm going to grant you this. I'm going, I'm, going to grant you, um, I'm going to grant you your religion. Your real legion. I'm going to grant you that. Say you do like praying, right? And it makes you feel better. Then if you're going to be prey by a predator, at least know who's the predator, who the predator is and, and know how to pray. Like praying ain't what you think. And I'm going to give you this thought right now. This is a godly thought right now. This is an antary thought. God is always going to give you what you want. You just have to know what you want. So if you if you being stressed out all day and you're going to pray God, you're praying and you're praying to whatever your predator is, for they could come like your master, like you're a slave or something like that. Whatever you're praying to, right? Whatever religion, Muhammad, whatever, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you're praying to get your bills paid, you're praying for money. You know how we look at it as gods? We look at it like this. You must want that. You must want to be in the situation where you're going to have to pray and give me more energy to put you with. Look, look. God's going to always give you what you want. And it deals with this. It deals with this side. You got to be for sure what you want. So when you go in, when you land down and pray, like, God, please give me this. Give me this, uh, say you want a new car, and you're praying every day for this new car. Please give me this new car. You know how we look at it? This is how we look at it. Let's make, this person must like being in a situation where they want this new car. So, I'm going to keep putting you in situations where you're going to want that car. I'm going to, I'm going to let, I'm going to make that car drive up the street without you in it. I'm going to make a bunch of commercials come on, come on when you want that car. I'm, I'm going to do whatever I can to give you what you want because this is what I see that you want. See, look, as a God, we don't give a fuck about right or wrong, right, left, up, down. The things in your life and in your perception and how you look at what's right or wrong is not what it is. We don't give a... All that shit is governed by a certain energy, yin and yang. And, and once you get high on a pyramid to know what shit is governed by, shit doesn't even work the way you think it worked because you're applying it to different 3D type of shit being down here and shit. Listen, you want that car? You pray. You get up and pray. Every guy, if, this, if that's what you do, pray. Pray to the predator. I'll be your predator. I'll be your predator. Pray to me. Pray every day and give me thanks that you got that car. Even if you ain't even got that car. Pray every day and appreciate it and, and actually feel like you really got that car. Even if you got a piece of shit out there. 
Act like that's act like that's that car. I don't give a fuck what kind of life situation you in. Do not let that do not let the mask underneath the veil. You know what I'm saying? Act as is, even if it ain't. You know what I'm saying? So if you want that car, I I need you to pray every goddamn day and give thanks and appreciation that you got the car, even if you don't got the car. See, don't not come and give you that motherfucking car, nigga. That's what the shit is. You gotta let me know you like being in that vibration. Once I see you like being, once I see you like be, you like having that car, you like being in that car, I'm gonna make sure I put you in every situation where you feel that same way with that car. And that's how the shit works. You feel me? So this is a little analysis on what I'm trying to get people like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even like to call that prayer. I like for people to make affirmations. I like for people to, to not set goals, but uh, have the goal accomplished. You can accomplish a lot just sitting on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Shit be real. Flight boss, bitch. 